All right, y'all lot, I know what you're thinking, Joe, why are you stood in Oakwell Car Park on a freezing cold, rainy Friday night? Well, I'm here because Barnsley have got a new event called Social that's going to be taking place every month, uh, kicking off this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Uh, and basically, you know, usually I'd, I'd be nice wrapped up on a Friday night playing board games with my pals. But Lewis from Club said, if you come down, Joe, I'll get you a few free samples. So, food, what can I say? So I'm down here, food around the world, craft beer, Come on, Reds, let's go find out what it's all about. This is Sri Lankan food, yeah? Yeah. Nice, yeah. It's food food actually. It's coriander. Coriander, yeah. Ooh, that warmed me up tonight. I feel like every time I do these videos, I'm just eating something. Anyway, this is just one. Um, Barnsley's CEO Khalid is uh, my best mate, as everybody calls him. Just brought me this to try. Uh, it says, um, Barnsley lad's going to try some vegetarian uh, vegetarian Sri Lankan food, so let's get a go. Have a look. Mm. It says I've got a share it with Catherine, but I'm not sure about that. It's quite nice, I might keep it for myself. Yeah. What's this then? That's the Korean beef. So, Korean barbecue beef. So. Korean barbecue beef is my uh, second stop tonight. Um, so what are you guys called again? Sticky, sticky beaks, there you go. So let's have a go at this Korean beef then. I'll try not to eat the paper, which is classic for me, so try and pull it. Is there a method to eating this? Is it just pull the paper just down? In. Just get in, you get in. Diet and then, and then you just take the half out. That's a good idea, yeah, you see. We used to do it flat and people used to roll it, so that's why we swapped to rolling it, so people could do more handheld rather than mm. knife and fork Mmm. Mmm. Oh, really good. Mm. I'm gonna be full. This is a big you portion, but it's really nice. What is this? Now I know what you mm. want well. <laughs> right, it's a really hard job, obviously. I have to come out, eat rain, eat food. It's Not just. Day. You have to do it, but, yeah. mm. Look at you taking up for the team. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just like. Such a team player. This is amazing. Right, so we're at Oakwell Friday night for the social event. I'm here with Barnsley's CEO, Khalid. How are you doing? You all right? Good. Good, good yeah? Good, good, Tell good. us a bit about this event then, Khalid. It's something a bit new for Barnsley, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, our uh, head of hospitality, Cameron, came up with a good idea around bringing more, you know, different types of food and create different type of events when we don't have games. I remember in the fall, some of the coaches uh, went to the supper event, and I think it's, a, it's the same organizer, so... Uh, that's the one in Elsica, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So, so we want to Elsica, test yeah. it, and it's, it's been great. I've walked around and tasted all of it. <laughs> Notice you got in early, didn't you? Get, I get, did, get I did. Lot, I'm so. here with my children, so I gotta be home by 7.30 p.m. That's it, mate, laughing bed. Uh, what, are you, what are you made to it, though? Obviously, it's good to get all these different food types around. So, so far, it's going well, yeah? Yeah, no, I think, obviously, we've been here early. Um, I think our favorite, when I asked my little girl, for her, she was the cheesecake, <laughs> urban cheesecake, and for me, it was the limp brisket with the disco fries. It's really good. But um, I'm happy that we're, you know, Obviously, it's all about football, but I, I think it's a fun event. Yeah, and you've got me trying some new stuff. So you've got me on the Sri Lankan. What's this then? I don't know the name, but you know, I've all I've seen you eat is, uh, or all I've seen you always hold a beer or eat hamburger. And I thought you need a bit of culture experience. <laughs> so this is some Sri Lankan dish. Tastes really well. Yeah. Well. I thank you, it's, it's really nice actually, yeah, so yeah, to be fair, um, you're right, I'm not, sometimes I do like the, the classic cheeseburgers, but yeah. I've got to ask you though, when's the chicken flatbread going to end up in the Ponte? Are we, are we going to get there one day? Because that, that's actually, my other favourite dish. I actually thought they were selling the chicken flatbread uh, everywhere. I thought it was a mainstream food uh, food <laughs> event or well, food dish in, in Barnsley. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if, if, if it's not there, I'm going to make sure the chicken flatbread, lamb flatbread, brisket flatbread, um, 
you know, I was even thinking I'm going to print out a T-shirt with the chicken flatbread, so... <laughs> Yeah, well, the happy clapper ones didn't go too well for me, so maybe maybe only at that point, mate. Um, in terms of these sort of events, how imp- how much emphasis has been on doing things that are not just obviously there's the football's the important bit, but doing things that also engage with the community, get more people in, um, you know, to get involved and just create a good atmosphere around Barnsley. Yeah, I think you know we've had some good ongoing discussions with the council about how to create more traffic into Oakwell uh, and then back into town. Uh, so we have obviously various ideas trying to fill the event calendar whether it's going to be a concert um, you know food festivals uh, and I think people will see more and more where us as a pretty big stakeholder in in Barnsley town and not city um, will be able you know to help drive traffic both ways yeah, definitely. And obviously got to share a little bit about football, Carl, yeah, because, you know, you know yeah, of course. We'd, we'd expect that. Um, firstly, how's it feeling this season? Obviously, it's probably a much better to be um, seeing a, a CEO of a club that's obviously winning at the minute and doing well than, than last season. You know what, I think uh, win or lose, uh, it's, it's good to be the CEO of Barnsley Football Club. And I think, you know, I appreciate the support and, and the environment. And yes, last 12 months has been been difficult. I actually just celebrated my one year anniversary a couple of days ago is on LinkedIn. Um, and I've experienced everything in, in 12 months. And this season, solid start. Uh, I'm happy with the, with the culture we're, bi- uh, you know, building on the field. And we're going to slowly make sure we also have a good and winning culture off the field. For you, how challenging was last year? Most challenging year of your career, you reckon? Or... It was tough, learning for think, all of us, for I everybody. Think, I th- definitely one of the most challenging, but I've been in uh, environments where the first season I uh, won one game, tied one and then lost 11 straight. Uh, when I joined you, Gordon, in, back in 2011, we uh, were winless in 16 and we had like 13 ties. Um, I think what's been difficult is the uncertainty in and around, um, you know, more kind of where, where the club would be heading from a, from a long, long-term perspective. And not necessarily in, in finance, because our, our owner and, and the board are, are good people and have obviously supported it. But I think that's been a bit uncertain for me. I've never been in Barnsley, you know, the adaptation to... Uh, to people around me and, and coming into an environment that was that was quite difficult where I couldn't be part of, you know, affecting the, the summer and, and the various, you know, additions, additions to the club. Um, but, you know, I, I only think we will get stronger and you can only go upwards. What was the fan forum like for you last week? It was good. I mean, I think I've done... You've done a few now, I've but done, I've done a few. <laughs> One of the easier ones, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're they're all good, um, and I think you know this one is a bit different with uh, Nirav and Julianne and Jean and Michael Duff being there, and I thought it was a good one. And I know Julianne sort of said, I think she rated six out of ten for progress so far. I know it's been a real tur- turbulent time for the club in terms of sorting a lot of things out for you. What do you think when you sort of look at, reflect on this sort of transfer window and things like that? So I think, I think, you know, look, transfer windows are never as, as simple as players in and players out. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes. There's various factors you can and cannot control. We addressed certain positions and, you know, we filled almost every one of them. Uh, maybe we're, you know, not maybe we're considering and looking at a, at a additional uh, attacking force. Uh, we put in a bid for a couple of players, and that didn't go through. But we're we're happy with the squad. Um, you know, I think if you look at it, we, I think over 21 players out. If you compare some of the under 23s that went on loan, and you know, Kenya and Bassi and Vita and Gomez and Morris and Brits and then you look at the players coming in but I think within the financial you know, kind of package we had the style we want to build, the character uh, um, on the transfer window specifically I, I would say it's it's more than 6 out of 10, it's actually pretty good Yeah, you feel it's yeah. a bit higher than that Because I also yeah. look at it that a transfer window for me was a head coach 
an yeah, assistant yeah. coach, promoting Davos, new club secretary. You know, there's a, yeah, a, yeah. a, a lot and in, of And in fairness, like, we asked the fans this week on our show what they thought, and the majority said seven, eight or nine. So yeah. you, I think the fans are starting to see that as well. So um, the only thing, obviously, was the strike. Was it generally just down to not being able to afford one? What was the, what was the reason for the strike, do you feel, or not the right person? A combination. We uh, identified the worst a couple ones that we wanted and I think it's important right we have strikers oh yeah we definitely. have Devante I mean, Cole we've yeah. got Norwood we have a young one with Aiden March we have uh, Tadic on loan from from City and I think you know but we still wanted to add something different we identified what type of type we wanted we waited we negotiated and most of them essentially ended up going somewhere else for money yeah and um, just one last thing on Michael Duff. I mean, just a comment on how happy you are with uh, his performance so far. I mean, it's just I think been brilliant, hasn't it? No, Michael Duff has, has done a good job, and like everyone else, uh, it's a solid start. I, I don't want to get carried away, uh, and one shouldn't in football, and I have to tr somehow stay level headed. I do think we have potential for growth, but then you never know. Like, you get injuries. You know, Conor McCarthy's out for the yeah. season, Aiden March now got, a, got an injury himself, and someone told me in football 50% you can do your best you control, and then next 50% is pure luck. Yeah, it's probably about yeah. right. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy us for food. Thank That's, you so much. Uh, really great to see and you. And good job stuff. with yeah. the channel. Yeah. Great Thank stuff. you. Thanks. Take care, mate. That's impressive. That's some serious, serious fries there. So we got a uh, limp brisket. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Beef, beef brisket. It is. It's the limp brisket one. So on there, you got cheddar cheese first. And you got our beef brisket that we slow cook all night. We do it for about eight hours overnight. Uh, crispy onions, you got chipotle mayonnaise, and you got barbecue sauce, jalapenos on top. And this is uh, disco fries. So thank you guys. Right, okay. There we go. Let's give it. This is the moment of truth. Let's give it a go. Back one jalapenos. Oh man, that is. Our most popular one, that one is. Oh, amazing. Chris, you're the sort of organiser of this, this event then, associate? Yeah. Here. Yeah, so I organised here at Basel Football Club and then the Elsker event as well, which was kind of the precursor to it. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, so tell us a bit about what this is all about. Then, like you said, the one in Elsker, I know, is really popular. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's. To be fair, the biggest thing for us is kind of supporting the other independent businesses um, that we kind of bring here from all over the country, really. Birmingham, Nottingham, Newcastle, London, literally, they come from all over the UK for us now. And obviously, working with kind of Barnsley Football Clubs are a great thing to be able to do as well. So, so obviously, it's a really nice vibe. You've got lots of different food stalls, yeah. people enjoying themselves, a bit like music in a bit as well. Yeah. So that's what people can expect to come down. Is this going to be a regular thing then? Is that the, is that the aim? For yeah, you guys? so we're hoping to do it at least kind of once a month. We currently have dates all the way until the end of April, um, so pretty much the end of the football season. And then we're looking then to kind of carry it on kind of there onwards and then hopefully look to kind of expand it a little bit and keep kind of growing it. full but I'm not that full I'm not not full enough to try this this looks amazing so what's your name Ben Ben Farina Ben uh, what's, what's the, the store called Farina's Artisan Pizza this looks absolutely amazing Ben I'm gonna give it a go I'm, I'm, I'm not know if I'll be able to eat all of it right now probably just about just three quarters hot, it's gonna be nice and hot yeah, yeah so this is the this is the funny bee look at that Bit, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm absolutely stuffed, but you've got to have dessert. You've got to have dessert. So we're uh, here at Urban Cheesecake with their Guardians of the Galaxy. Woo! Nearly lost it then, nearly lost it. Take two. Did lose it? Nearly. Did lose it, did lose it. So, what's your name, sir? Tony. Tony, Tony, thank you for this. It looks no amazing, worries, mate. No worries. I am full, but I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, we've got a like handmade a chocolate ganache on there. We've got uh, obviously plenty of galaxies, some ripple, and it's a white chocolate cheesecake. And we actually use hobnobs in the base to give a slight savoury note, which uh, counteracts the sweetness a bit. So, that was amazing. It's yeah, you better. Enjoy, enjoy. Amazing, thanks guys, this is brilliant. No Absolutely stuffed, but I'm still going to eat it. We've got three other ones on as well if you fancy coming back for a bit more. <laughs> yeah, give me ten minutes just to let me be belly slit off. Jeez. There we go then. This is social. It's going to be happening every month, the next one in November, but you can get here Saturday if you want to come uh, through Saturday from 12 o'clock till I think it's 11 at night, it's quite a long day. So come down. Here at Barnes FC, there's also one in else here at the Super Club. Get yourself down, check it out, it's amazing. I'm stuffed. I'm going for a lay down.